This is lesson 111. We're getting close to the end, but do not get um, lazy. This stuff is important. This has to do with conjunctions and disjunctions, and it can be a little tricky. We're going to talk about conjunctions first. Uh, the big word with that I think of with conjunction is the word and. Okay, so let's pretend we have four is less than x is less than fourteen. What that means is we can cover this up and say four is less than x, or x is greater than four, and x is less than fourteen. Both conditions have to be satisfied. So it has to be greater than 4 and less than 14. We could split it up, like I have here, and then solve them that way. So if we have uh, this one, 4 is less than x plus 3 is less, less than 10, it's the same as saying 4 is less than x plus 3 and x plus 3 must be less than 10. All right, so you can take something that's all together and break it into two, two conditions that both have to be satisfied. So let's make an example out of that. There's two ways to do this, okay? One was to break it up and write x, or negative 5 is less than or equal to x minus 4. Here, I'll show you both ways. What I'm saying is you could do it one way, and then you could do it a simpler way. So you could write it this way, and then write and have two inequalities, basically, and then solve for those. So here's the first one. Um, do you remember how to do it? Add four to both sides. So that's one is less than x or equal to x, and add four to both sides here, so x is less than 6. So, and these both have to be satisfied. So x is greater than or equal to 1 and less than 6. Here is how to do it all in one inequality. Add 4 to all three parts. And that gives us negative 1. Oops, I should have had that over here. I'm sorry. Some of you might have caught that. You get candy if you did, but I'm not there to give it to you, so I'm sorry. Um, so x is between negative 1 and 6, or x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than 6. So that's what we have here. Here we did it in one step in that one inequality. And then do not ever forget to look at the domain. The domain is integers, so that means we jump. Those are dots, not in between, if you can recall. So, let's go ahead and graph this. X is everything in between negative 1 and 6. So, negative 1 is what we call that inclusive. It means it gets to be, it's, it's greater than or equal to, so we get a solid dot. And then 6 is an open circle because it does not include 6. It's not inclusive. And there is our graph. Okay. The, it gets a little harder when we do a disjunction. And the word for disjunction is or. Up here it was and. Both conditions had to be true. Down here, or means either one. So an, a disjunction, you might read something like x is less than or equal to negative 2, or x is greater than 1. Either one is good. So to graph a disjunction means everybody's included, all of this and all of that. So here we are here, graph x is greater than or equal to 3, or x is less than negative 2. Again, we've got integers. Negative one, negative two. Okay, 
So x is greater than or equal to 3, and it's inclusive. So that gives us that part of the graph. And x is less than or equal to negative 2, also inclusive, so it's a solid dot. And it's down here. Okay, a disjunction. <clears throat> oh no, do you notice what I did wrong on both of these? After I just told you not to do it, I would get both of these wrong. And because we are dealing with integers. After I said, please look at the domain, I didn't. The answer above here was dot, wasn't it? I apologize. And six does not get a dot or even an open circle. He gets nothing because it's integers. Down here as well, I need to do dots. How embarrassing. Okay, I'm not really that embarrassed, but maybe you are for me. So there we go. I'm not even going to erase the video because I just want to get it up there. So I'm putting this up there with my mistake. All right, so that's what we need to have. Uh, example three, is it a disjunction or a conjunction? Well, this, you notice here, conjunction, disjunction. All right, whoa. Example three, here we go. I'm trying to get you centered on there, okay. So a disjunction and I'm looking reals, I get to do a solid line on this one. Okay, I see a 15 and a 10, so I'm actually gonna start at like five, six. I should have even started lower, huh? It happens. Okay. All right, so there's my number line. Got a little out of control because I started <laughs> at a bad place. Okay, x is greater than 15 and less than or equal to, or less than or equal to 10. Uh, I'll edit this next year. So yeah, I just like knock the camera over. There we go. Whew, this was a hard lesson to do. <laughs> um, when you do this one, I would keep it all here and add two to all three parts and then graph the answer to that, noticing it's reals. This one's integers, so be careful with that. And I will try and pull it together before I do the next lesson video.